I tried to look up Ender 6 top cover installation because it didn't come with instructions. And I couldn't find anything on YouTube, so here's a quick video. Here is an Ender 6 I put together. Haven't even used it yet, it's brand new. Just put the full a spool of filament in there. Haven't even turned it on yet. But look, you can get this optional top cover. You see, it. you just, all it does is, is these two bits, you put a battery in that thing there, which tells you the temperature and the humidity, I'm, I'm guessing. I don't even know. And then here's the, uh, the hinges. It comes with hinges, you just put them on with the nuts and washers, two hinges. And that's the front of the machine. So, it just sits on top. It just sits there with gravity. It's not bolted on or anything, it just sits there. And then, because it's got the hinges, you can fold that up. You see that? Get the wide angle camera. Fold that up, comes down. If you ever need to get in there for some reason, other than just opening the front door, that is, you can just fold that up. And then it, all it does is it goes into the into the crack there. So there's like a little thing there it goes into, like a slot, and at the back, it goes into the slot at the back of the aluminium, aluminium extrusion, they call them. Which the whole printer's made of aluminium extrusions. They've got little slots and shit that they put tea nuts in and stuff. So it just goes into the, the grooves at the back. It just sits there with gravity. But it's alright, it's pretty sweet. Doesn't need to be bolted on really, does it? It's not like the machine's running down the street or something. But that's how you do it. You just pull it all out of the box, assemble it on the table, put, by putting the hinges and nuts and bolts on, and then you just push it on, put it on top. Simple.